Well, in Southern Utah now, residents say affordable housing is hard to find. And as the region continues to grow, many are concerned that the problem is only going to get worse. Yeah, data from the state's workforce services shows many low-income households in Utah pay more than half of their income for rent. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero reports. I just moved back from Salt Lake because they sold my town home and the only place I had to go is my parents' house. 42-year-old Melissa Graff says she couldn't find a job on the Wasatch Front that allowed her to support her five children and compete in this housing market. I have my oldest child who's autistic and then I have my younger daughter with me living at my mom's house because it's just a two-bedroom. My younger son is with his dad. My other kids are kind of on their own right now. She says she's been looking for a home in Washington County for for the last six months with no luck. As a single mom, I mean, when you're making, you know, 12 bucks an hour, it's not even enough for the rental agencies. They want you to make like three times your rent. Juggling two jobs, one of them is her personal business. She's trying to grow in hopes to save up for her own place. I'm in like a limbo because I don't qualify for low income housing and I can't afford everything else that's out there. Nearly 20,000 residents in Washington County are living in poverty, according to data from the state's workforce services. I'm really sad because I just, you know, I'd rather have my kids with me and it's just super hard to have them you know, scattered everywhere. Data also shows the median household income is $56,877 and the median monthly rent for a two bedroom is $906. Well, the lists are just massive. Anywhere you rent, basically, you're up against so many people. Graf says she can only hope Washington County will grow their affordable housing opportunities so locals like her can have a place to live. Reporting in Washington, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.